Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing my worst box of the year or of 2020. So I mean everyone needs to put a disclaimer that if I hate it on your favorite book then it doesn't mean that it's a bad book. And I mean, these are just not for me personally. They didn't kind of fit my style of reading, basically. So I have I have nine here, and if you come here for tea, most of these won't have anything because when it comes to my worst books, I don't remember much from it. So, yeah, let's just start. And these don't have any like particular like particular order of them who I hated most. To be honest, I just these are kind of the ones that pulled the final straw and I just didn't care for. The first is All the Beautiful Lies. So, this is and most of these I don't remember much from. But what I remember about this book is um, it's about this um, this guy, and he basically he thinks his stepmom is hot, and then um, the like his father dies, and he kind of goes home to figure out why. I almost said he he comes home from that. Because he felt like the um, the death was kind of mysterious, so he goes kind of back home. And uh, yeah, I mean, some of these might be a little spoilery, so but that is because I need to explain why I didn't like this book. So the thing is, we get to know that the stepmom, he, she was basically like abused by her stepfather. Because uh, the stepfather married obviously the mother and basically killed the mother and then got in a relationship with the daughter because the only reason he got together with the mother was so he could get like a hold of her. And basically, what she does, I will say, she basically gets into bed with the main character, the guy that I don't remember the name of, and basically, I would say, rape him. I don't feel like it's talked much about after that. And um, yeah, I just didn't like that. So that is that. And then we have Here to Stay. And if I remember this correctly, it's basically about this guy. And he marries this woman that he knows nothing about. And basically, she says that, can I invite my family? That I don't know how much how he actually if he even knows about them so basically they move in and uh, it's basically just supposed to be just for a few like weeks but they don't plan on move out and basically everything is just weird messed up i didn't like it and yeah it was just really really weird and yeah, I just felt like I, I wasn't intrigued. Then we have Going Dutch, and basically this is said, this is like uh, about this man, and he is gay. He's said to be gay. And uh, basically he flirts, he meets this man, and... Um, yeah, that goes really well. However, on the other hand, he is flirting with also this woman, or he, I will say he leads on this woman also in a, in a weird way. And even though he's gay, he don't like explain that I don't like you. He just leads her on and then he catches feelings for her and then you are like, yeah, but he still continues on. He 
agrees to move in with this man and also the woman and then you are like but i mean he basically is together with this man and then i'm like why did you agree on the woman then because he says that um, i'm not interested and then yeah i just feel like he leads on the woman over and over and over again and it just becomes a whole mess and i just didn't like that i mean yeah i mean a lot of people actually like this book but i didn't because i just I was very very confused and i just didn't like the main character and i think that was the downfall i didn't like him at all because i just i don't like a guy who basically leads on this woman and i mean at first he don't attend to actually do anything with her and then i'm like you shouldn't lead her on anyways then we have eclipse so Twilight made it into my most surprising list because I didn't think I was going to like this. This is in my worst list. So Eclipse is the third book in the Twilight Saga and the reason I didn't like this was because of Jacob and Edward. So yeah. I didn't like either of them. Um, basically, Jacob forces basically her himself on Bala, even though she clearly doesn't want it. And Edward is just very like she's mine, and very like don't basically let her do anything on herself. But basically, like herself. And then, I mean, in the movie, I I like the movie more. We basically get like the fight between uh, the army that is made of vampires and like the columns and the werewolves. We don't get that in the book because it's by uh, like Bella's mind. So it was just, just like, oh, it's over. And it was just like, Ngh. yeah. And then we have the Red Badge of Courage. I can't tell you much about this because I didn't like it and I don't remember anything from it. And I read this not too long ago. It, what I do remember is about this guy in the army. And we don't get to know his name until like half of the book, I think. And that just made me really not care for the main character. I didn't care what happened to him. Then we have where did she go Bernadette and um, I didn't like this either uh, it's about Bernadette and she's she one day just disappears after doing a lot of stupid stuff and um, yeah I just didn't care for Bernadette and basically her neighbors was weird even though I do get why they didn't like Bernadette I just yeah it was just really it was clearly something with bernadette and um it's just yeah then we have beautiful disaster so this was just a disaster uh, i didn't care i i did i hated maddox i actually remember his name um i don't think i the last name might be maddox but basically he was just yeah, I didn't like it. Basically, it's about this girl, don't remember her name. And she goes to this fighting ring thing. And what happens is that she meets Maddox. And um, they strike a deal that he will stay in her home for like a month or something. And yeah. Basically, he was awful. I didn't like him. I don't care for the author. But yeah. I mean, I just didn't like this book. I mean, yeah, I I know that there are books in. There are another book in this series. I don't know if I care to read it. But yeah, I just didn't overall like this book. I felt like Maddox was not a guy I like. I mean, I can like a bad boy. I can like a 
cruel guy, but I just didn't click with this guy. And that is one of the reasons why I didn't like it. Then we have the cabin at the end of the world. And um, this one just made me angry, basically. So it's about this family and they live or they are at holiday, I don't remember, at basically this cabin. And then some people come and say that they need to kill one because if not, the world will end. So it's basically about that. And what happens is that this little girl, this cute little girl, she gets killed. And that just made me so angry. And then you basically don't know what what is kind of the end. I mean, it doesn't always bother me to have an open ending. But this just angered me. And I just didn't like anything. So, as you see, I have a really hate-love hate, hate -love relationship with thrillers and mysteries, basically. Some of them I really like, but some of them I don't click with. And then the last one is, this I think might be the worst, worst thing I read, and that was Sun, Moon and Talia. Basically, what this book is, it's basically uh, the... From what I can get, it's like the original story of Sleeping Beauty. It's very short, but all the pages I read was awful. Basically, what happens is that in the normal Sleeping Beauty, the prince kisses her and she wakes up and they get married. In this one, basically, he sleeps with Sleeping Beauty and Basically, she gives birth, and then the reason she wakes up is that one of the childs actually sucks out the splinter, and she wakes up. And basically, the one, the the woman that the um, prince is married to actually invites Sleeping Beauty and her children there because she wants to cook them. So yeah, that was just a whole mess and I didn't like it. So that was my worst. Basically, no like a tea. I, I don't have, when I don't like a book, I usually just put it away and forget it. I just like to say I didn't like this book. Um, you may want to try it. I mean, I do know a lot of people are like, Oh, you didn't like this book, then I want to try it, but, you know, yeah, you do you. But that was it for this video, and I hope you liked it, and I will see you next time. Bye!